Hi, it's Megan, and I'm going to do a show my makeup collection video, which I'm not sure quite how to do, so we're going to trial and error. So this is the stuff that I've recently been reviewing. I've got Josie Marin Escape to Morocco set. It's not that easy. I'm used to having a tripod, so let's see what I can handle here. Sephora Superstars uh, collection, lips, give me some more lip, Kat Von D, Tarte, oh god, I'm not really good at holding this camera, am I? And um, that's a Sephora, Glitz and Glam, Too Faced, some of my favorite things, Kat Von D eyeshadow palette, and I like my tripod, I have to say, my tripod, uh, Kat Von D lipstick collection. So this is the stuff I've recently reviewed. I kind of stashed some of it up there. I'm a fanatic about keeping things in boxes for a while until I'm ready to unpack them. Here, I have most of blushes and two Urban Decay palettes. You can see them, which are still in boxes. But in there, I have all my blushes, bronzers. Some are open and some are not. A lot of times I'll buy something and then I just don't use it for a while. Sometimes I return it, sometimes I give it away, sometimes I open it and do a review on it. I haven't done a lot of reviews to Blackberry, this is kind of cool. Oh, it's making a mess. This is kind of like, a, this is a purple blush, first purple blush I've ever owned. Where is it? And uh, yeah, this is not going to be the most successful video. This is the first time I've tried a video like this without my tripod and everything kind of set up the way I want it. So just be forgiving. This is my makeup collection. I've got a lot of these tart brushes in here, the little collections. I like variety and playing around with different colors. I've got these little ones as a highlighter that I haven't used very much. Bronzer. Two, uh, these I loved. The MAC. Uh, Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. I bought backups of all these. I love these. They're so gorgeous. And then I also love these Urban Decay. I'm doing one hand shooting, one hand opening. These uh, cream blushes. Since I have dry skin, cream blushes tend to work really well on me. And they also, that should not be there. Oh. So anyway, this is blushes. And I'm obviously not the most organized because here we have a pen and we have, I think, a lipstick. No, it's just a brush, and we have some eyeshadow, a little, I don't know what that is. So this is supposed to be blushes and bronzers. And then a couple bags, and I threw in these Urban Decay things I didn't know where else to put them. This right there is a bag of samples, and I am a huge lover of samples. I love playing around with different products, especially skincare. And so I have my little bag in the bathroom of things, perfumes that I'm kind of playing around with. I like these Bond New York City perfumes. I got a bunch of those from Sephora. There's just like hair care stuff. You can't see because of the lighting. The lighting's not very good in my bathroom, but it's like my little dryer. Normally in my bathroom, I don't have this bin. This is normally in my closet, but I'm a skincare fanatic, so I buy when things are on sale. So I like the philosophy stuff, Peter Thomas Roth, In Wrinkle, because I'm getting older. Extra of all kinds of things that went on sale. The balm. I opened my cabinets because they're mirrors. This is going to be hard. So, I've got two sides. This side, right here, I have older face palettes. And I have no makeup on, so I shouldn't have been doing this, should I? That's okay. Um, no makeup, I haven't done my hair, I just got out of the shower. Older palettes, extra things like face powder. I also don't like paying for extra foundation. You can see my extra skincare. Extra tin and moisturizer, masks, highlighters, samples, even hard candy highlighters. Yeah, this is not going to be the best video. Uh, all my skincare is up here. I use Sun In, I love it. And this is just kind of extra powder, all that kind of stuff that when I run out of one, my daily hair care stuff. Down here we have, I'm not very neat by the way, just enough to get by. Right here we have pencils, lip and eye pencils. Right there we have my brushes, scissors. This is the stuff that 
stuff that I'm playing around with right now or that I wear every day. So I wear my waterproof mascara, where is the camera? Every day when I work out, I don't go without makeup. I'm using this bronzer right now from Bobby Brown Set. Wear it every day, or I use NARS one. Can I open it? Right there, Laguna. And then these two lipsticks, this is stuff I'm playing around with. So I just leave it on the counter. So these are the perfume samples I'm playing around with to see what I like. These are two older Urban Decay lipsticks that I just found and I wasn't sure about the colors, so I've been playing around with those. Mascara, concealer, lip balm, right over there. Powder, highlight powder, Benefit Material Girl, highlighter. I'm playing around with this Lorac tantalizer. I don't use it on my body, I use it on my face. This is like lip samples, perfumes. You see some roller balls in here. Um, lip fusion, lip plumper, which I love. In here are just kind of bags I take to the gym. So this is actually a smoky eye bag with some lips I'm playing around with. Primer for the eyes, uh, an eye pencil, just some eyeshadows mm -hmm. I'm playing with. And then over here, we have all my perfumes, which are way too many, and some extra hair stuff. But it's mostly just perfume. A few extra brushes that I don't use on a daily basis. The fun stuff is right here. This is my mess drawer, where everything that I don't know what to do with goes. So this, see I'm not very organized with all this. Samples stuff that I'm wearing and not sure where to keep or wear every day. It all goes in there. This is hair stuff, uh, cut and swabs, extra travel brushes, palette. This is so silly. Uh, I'm not very good at this. And then we have some eye pencils, some lipsticks, mini lipsticks. Again, stuff I'm not using, some necklaces. This is in there. And then here we have all my eye stuff, like the eye palettes, you can see, they're all just kind of thrown in here, you can see, a lot of NARS, a lot of Urban Decay, a lot of candy. I keep every receipt always, so I actually have boxes of receipts, because you just never know. I have all these extra eyeshadows. I didn't know I had that. Lorac multiple 3D lashes. I need to pull that out and play with that. See, I lose things and then I find them. This is an unbelievable Kat Von D palette that's out of like way, I don't even think you can buy it. I haven't seen it on eBay. But I bought it at the store in Hollywood. I went there once. It's like my favorite thing because I can't replace it. I haven't opened it, which is stupid, but that's what I do. Look how pretty those colors are. Are they? Like so pretty and so usable. I love the palette. I'm gonna put that away in it. My naked too has been taken by my daughter, so I only have naked. So that is where I have like the eye stuff, eyeshadow. And, uh, then over here, this is the fun stuff too. This is like all the stuff I'm thinking about reviewing, trying to review. This is something that I've looked at, reviewed, and not sure I love. This is like, you guys actually organized. I want to do a review on these Too Faced lipsticks. So half of these right in here are like the, uh, the Rimmel Kate I've already done. And then half of them, like the two things I haven't. But these are the things that I'm kind of playing around with right now. My most recent review, this Becca Skimmering, Shimmering, Shimmering Skin Protector. This is stuff I have not reviewed at all and is set to come. So it's like, some drugstore stuff. I'm obsessed with these Infallible, L'Oreal Infallible. I'm also obsessed with the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. Where is it? Yeah, I'm not so good at this. And so I'll be doing a review both independent and then comparing because they're made by the same company. And like I said, I don't have anything. So this is my most recent kind of matte stuff and some Urban Decay pencils. I have a whole bunch of these bags with makeup in them from the what, Stroke of Midnight collection. Yeah, Stroke of Midnight collection, I love that. So I'm still playing around with it. And then I just have 
these paint pots because again I'll compare those with the Maybelline ones. Pencils, my hourglass. This is all the stuff I've mostly recently been doing reviews of and then I'm playing with or deciding whether I'm going to keep, give away, return, to review, whatever. So that is like the eye stuff. And then here we have, this is so hard. Here we have more receipts. We have the lips and all the like blushes. And then these are my extras of these because I love these so much. The uh, in extra, extra Dimension Skin Finishes. I have three colors. I have dupes, a bunch of lipsticks. Again, whether we keep it or return it is not decided yet or give it away for Christmas. So that's like cheeks and lips new. There is my Bite Collector's Edition lipsticks and a whole bunch of lip gloss. I haven't been wearing lip gloss and I want to be wearing it again, so I just put it all in a bin. I'm need some old. And then just a whole bunch of eyes and a few lips. And so that is it. I'm not sure this is going to be, I keep saying it, so I won't say it again. Well, yeah, I will. I'm not sure this is going to be a good video, but you know what? I did it. I tried it and uh, feedback is welcome. How do I do this better? I really am not so good at like finding things and holding the camera. That would be my one big question. That right now is my makeup collection. And since I'm fairly new to makeup videos, I don't have nearly as much as I'm sure lots of other people do out there. Um, these are so great, these rimmels. They cost like $5 and they are just so gorgeous. Thanks for watching.